Okay, how to check main bearing clearances. You're going to need a couple tools. You need some good old handy dandy plastic gauge in the appropriate size. I don't want maybe a wire cutter or something to cut the plastic gauge. You can want one of these bad boys. <coughs> or one of these. And you're for sure going to need a torque wrench. If you're rebuilding an engine without a torque wrench, you're an idiot. Go buy one. Alright, first thing we're going to do pull off the main cap here. <coughs> Little low on air. <coughs> Alright, got those guys off. Here's a little tip. You can either rock, you can lift these bolts up and rock them back and forth, or I like to do side to side here. Just so really get this thing out because it's really in there. Okay. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look at the bearing, make sure there's no copper, no obvious signs of wear or anything like that. You're going to take yourself a uh, clean towel and wipe off the oil. Make sure you have a nice dry surface. You're going to wipe your crank journal as well. While you're at it, you might as well inspect your crank journal. So I'm actually by my rear, yeah, my rear seal. You can look at that as well. All right. Next thing you're going to do. So you're going to take some plastic gauge, it's tiny little stuff, it's a little string. You're going to go, you're going to make sure you have enough to cover the entire bearing. And you're going to cut it off, the wire clipper. Okay. Now you're going to lay it, I can't really see it there. Uh, this is a bad one. <laughs> Layer. Right on the middle of the bearing, and as straight of the line as you can possibly get it. You're also going to make sure, yeah, show you here, so you can see right there. Okay, now what's going to happen when we put our main bearing cap on, it's just going to compress, now we're going to measure the width of that compression. Now I do not advise tightening these fully with uh, the impact wrench, but it certainly helps to get them on. <coughs> Just to the point where they're snug. Alright, then the specifications for this engine to tighten are 45 foot-pounds and then 65 foot-pounds. So we're going to... oh wow. I just said I'm a bit low on air. Yeah. And I like to walk them both up. I don't like doing just two steps. I like to bring both up to the same torque. The idea behind it is that it doesn't warp the block or the crank in any way. Alright. Now we're on our 65 foot pound increment. Bench clicks. I'm loosening on this one because they're taking a measurement. I don't want anything jostling around, so I can use an impact wrench. You see it here. So I'm going to go ahead and use my breaker bar. You'd probably be fine if you used an impact wrench, but I don't like it. Something about measurements in a thousand foot an inch increments and power tools just don't work. <coughs> Okay, now you're going to gently take this off without compressing it any because you don't want to skew your measurement. Okay, got her off here. And where is my measuring stick? Okay. As you can see on here, the plastic gauge, the waxy substance, has compressed. So, we have a little scale here. We're going to look. It's about one and a half thousandths of an inch, so look in our little book here. And where is that? Main bearings. Clearance between the crankshaft and crankshaft journal and the main bearing is desired is 2.2 thousandths of an inch, so we're well within that, so I'm going to go ahead and leave these bearings alone. We're going to take a little PB blaster, wipe that off, 
make sure you just get her all off there pretty clean. Oh, also might want to measure her on a crankshaft here too. Yeah, same measurement, one and a half thousandths. So happy. New main bearings for this engine are like 200 bucks. There's only a couple sets left in the entire fucking American region. Alright, I'm using some just motor oil, but if you have engine assembly lube, you should probably use it at this point. Drizzle some on there, drizzle some on your main bearing. Smear it around, you know. Just get her a little agitated. Put your cap back on. Just get them down. I'm not even snugging them up. I'm just take out the slack. Now we're gonna do our two stage again. We're gonna do our 45, 65. Okay. That one close. That one. Okay. 45. 45. Bumper up to 65. Click. And done. Hope I helped you.